Welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I am your host, Bitrekt. This is a modded game, Alpha 21. And what makes this different is I have modified the spawns XML file to reflect 10 times the amount of spawns. Oh. It also does the, the max, yeah. So whatever it was, say, in the green zone, if you had one spawn per every three minutes, it's now ten spawns per every three minutes. Okay, so for wandering hordes, instead of a spawn of four, it's now a spawn of forty. And just to let you folks know, the Trader Joe's is closing soon. Well, that's handy. Thank you. Okay. Then for the amount of zombies or entities, I guess, if it was 12 for the max, I changed it to 120 for the max. So it's will basically start to fill up. And then if you have a wandering horde hit, and so you wind up with a battle that could last 20 minutes. So it's... I can kind of see where Darkness Falls went. Where they tried to speed that up and kind of do what I did a little bit in a different way, probably. And then add a whole bunch of other stuff to it. But I like the way vanilla feels. I really like it. And I want to stay as true as I can to the game, but I want to tune it. Kind of my goal for this is as you're going through these POIs, um, you should fear the outside of the POI just as much as the inside. Like that guy right there should be more like you know, worrisome. They should have the ability to break that stuff down and come at you. And then they'll be like, if you don't take care of them, since you have 120 mobs out here, they can they can spawn, essentially. Your POI can be overrun, like when you're in a tier five and you're taking maybe two hours to go through it. You could wind up with a big, big problem outside. There's a bird in here, I'm sure of it. There's a bird right there. All right. So 122. Still basics, we don't have to be fancy about it. Let's destroy the piece that we don't use. That's fine. There, so this has to come down this way. Okay. Oh, I think my son's around. Okay, we'll just do a thing right there, okay. Drops down there. Okay, let's put some advanced. Let's get crazy with it. Let's just do the do uh, here. Good. Good. So they do this. If they do manage to smack that part, we can we have the reinforcement all the way up. Oh, that needs to be concreted in. All the way to the top. Okay, so we'll just do that a little bit. That goes all the way up, and we just need one more right there. Okay, and then we'll copy this. To go right on it until we get the copy. Let's not look at the right thing. Okay. Got 
three lanes. That's good. Yep, start again here. Do another hatch. That's all I meant. I don't really understand the basics of things. That's alright, we learn as we go sometimes. Uh, there we go. I wonder if that'll work. I doubt it, but we'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Okay, so there's that. And so we need support here. So they don't 
They don't need to. Oh, I need ladders all the way up. Nope. Which means I need wood all the way up. Spent a lot of time on the pathing now. This is, this is good. Okay. This guy can go away because we, we want him squished. Yeah, we want that out of the way so we can do the play trap. So we want. Where is the. Here. Okay. can go here too, because that's where they're going, so I can put them here, facing that way, firing that way. Put some triggers here, and when the triggers go, the traps can hit. Okay, okay good. Uh, 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 yeah, we don't need that third one, so that's good. Not sure why that's there, but it's alright. I'm sure we can use the space layer. Yeah, they're gonna have to jump sideways to get to it, and it's gonna trip them up a bit. And this one too is gonna trip them up, so let's do the same. We need wood. There's just no way around it. We gotta get some more wood. But we're doing good. It's day six and we have most of our structure in. I think it's solid enough. I haven't checked really. And that should be deep enough to hold it if there's a I need to put concrete all the way around that, so if I need to take refuge there for an hour or two, I can. Plus, this is nice because they'll drop down there and I could drop bombs on them, so I need to hold on to some bombs. If I have to escape, I have to hold some here, so this is my fallback. If they destroy this thing and the whole thing goes down, game over. Uh, or I'll run to another house and, you know, grind away. <laughs> 